Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch SMD6 ZCX60G Integrated Dishwasher. And what I want to do today is to show you around the dishwasher, some of the features and benefits that it offers. I have got it plugged in, so what I want to do is to show you some of the programs it offers. And to be fair, there's a lot of functionality to talk about in this one. All I would normally ask is please subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click the thumbs up. What I do is I normally talk about household appliances, vacuum cleaners, there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So just give us a quick subscribe, it will make a start. This is one of the flagship models that Bosch offer in a range of integrated dishwashers. And what you will find is that this offers 13 place settings, uh, which is slightly better than the standard 12 place settings, which are the majority of the rest of the range. And I suppose the main advantage is it just gives you the ability to put more inside, which means you're doing less washes. So I'll start talking about the features on the dishwasher now, because as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot to talk about. Now, as far as opening the door, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, all I'll do is I've, I've got a normal handle on the front, and that's what I'll do to open the door. Uh, but you don't have to use the handle now. So clearly that is still an option if you want to carry on using the, the furniture door that you've got. Uh, but you do have an option on here called Open Assist. And all you need to do is just press the door. And what it will do is, is just release the door a little bit. And it gives you the ability to open it. Now to show you that again. And I suppose what this is, this is really aimed at the market where people don't want to have handles on their furniture doors. So again, I'll just shut it. And if I just press that, you can just hear the, the motor whirring away. And all it does is it just releases it a little bit. Uh, to be fair, I'm, I mean, this isn't installed fully. So the, the door would normally open a little bit more. Uh, but that's a really good feature, especially if you, you know, if you like, like a nice, sleek kitchen where you don't want handles on the front like this then you've got the ability to do that on this dishwasher so as we come inside the dishwasher first of all you've got the cutlery tray at the top here this is called the vario drawer that's what bosch call it uh, and the advantage is that you can put all of your cutlery on the top here and the advantage of having the ability to spread it out is that it makes sure that the washing performance is a lot better uh, also if you have got uh, quite expensive cutlery then it can stop it tarnishing uh, which you can get if you put everything into a basket at the bottom as you get on a lot of the traditional dishwashers then over time it can tarnish uh, and you notice you get like little black spots on the on the cutlery uh, that's it's it's not anything you can do about it but the main advantage of having this kind of system is it gives you the ability to spread everything out to stop that happening uh, it is designed, apart from cutlery, for very small items, things like espresso cups as well. And as we go to the upper basket, then with this one, uh, if you're comparing it to a standard, even a Bosch dishwasher, then you will notice that it's very different inside. Uh, first of all, you've got these, so these can fold out. And again, you've got the ability to put things like other little espresso cups, or I normally use the example of things like a bread knife. Uh, it's much better to get them out of the way. You don't really want them sitting at the bottom here. But these are fold away, so you don't have to use them. Uh, any of these red bits, uh, I know you can't tell from there, but they are like a rubber feel. Well, they are made of rubber. And the advantage is, if you've got things like glasses uh, or cups, rather than them falling over or slipping over during the wash, then they will stay in place by sort of gripping to this. And what you'll find on here as well, that if you've got things like wine glasses, then the stems can actually sit in here. So again, that's a really good idea. Uh, some of these racks can actually fold down. So if you have got, say, large dishes or, or plates, for example, that you wanted to put in here and just create a nice flat surface area, then you've got the ability by just folding those two down. So these two are static. In the middle of the upper basket, you've actually got this. Uh, this is something called the extra clean zone and what this does these are actually three little water nozzles uh, And this is really designed that if you've got uh, Say a dish that you've washed or that you want to get clean, but it's really really dirty uh, Say if if you've done uh, Say pudding for example an apple crumble is always a favorite in, in our household uh, It's got a bit crusty, so it, it needs a really really good wash all you do is you flick that button across 
and what that will do part way through the wash uh, this will actually send a, an extra amount of water through to the dish that you would just normally set here So it's just nice just having a an option here clearly you don't have to use it You just flick it to the off position As with a lot of the higher end dishwashers in the Bosch range you do have a feature called Rackmatic And what you've got the ability to do is to raise or lower the upper basket So it doesn't always have to be level you have got different positions you can have it in uh, so if you decided that one side wanted to be lower than the other, then that will still work fine. Uh, you've actually got a couple of different positions. So you've got the lowest setting, then the medium, and then the high. As we go to the bottom basket, uh, first thing to notice is that it is a full stainless steel interior. Uh, I would expect nonetheless on this kind of model. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the cheaper brands are going towards the uh, Polynox or it's like the plastic interior um, although they claim yeah they they can be a little bit more efficient to use uh, and they are as long-lasting wearing as the stainless steel interior I think a lot of people especially when you're buying a premium product like this you definitely want to have a stainless steel interior with the bottom tray you do have the ability to fold all of these down uh, so what you can do is you can create a completely flat area, which is brilliant. If you've got, say, saucepans or big dishes, then trying to put them on here is quite a pain. And clearly what it will do is it will raise everything up, which can interrupt uh, the upper basket. So at least having the ability to fold all these down is a really good idea. And clearly you've not got the basket as well. So you've not got the cutlery basket to worry about because that's dealt with at the top with the Vario drawer. So I've just taken the basket out just to show you this. Um, first of all, as far as the maintenance on it, it is very easy to do. Uh, you've just got the filters at the bottom there. Uh, clearly you can see there's a, a bit of residual water here. Uh, all of the models are tested in the factory. So that's comforting to know that they've, they've tested that. Uh, you can take these off, just take the spray arms off. So they're easy to remove. Uh, something I will point out is that it does come with this. Now, uh, this is one of the most common questions that when people have had their dishwasher arrive, they wonder, well, what is this? Uh, this is a large item spray head. Uh, some brands have started to get rid of this now. Uh, I think they've found that it's not been that popular. Um, but I think it's a really, really good idea. Um, and the idea is, if what you could do is you just take the top basket out and you would, really, you would put this at the very back and at the back you would just put it on and twist it so that it uh, locks into place and the idea is by removing the top basket uh, and even the Vario drawer basket as well then it gives you the ability to wash very big items uh, things like your grill racks uh, or barbecue racks so if you're doing a barbecue and if you want to give the, uh, the grill racks a really good clean then just pop this on the back, uh, take the two top drawers out, and then you've got the ability to wash really large racks. So that's what that is. That's called the large item spray head. Uh, just carrying on with the, the actual using of the dishwasher. Uh, you've got the salt here on the left hand side. And with the dishwasher, you do get a, uh, a little funnel. Just show you that. So it should come with a funnel as well. And that's really, that's, ideally you want to use that, just pop it in before you put the salt in because uh, you don't really want salt going around the base of the dishwasher. Now just while I've got the door open, uh, you'll see here you've got something called Zeolith drying technology. Now a lot of people will look at it and go, well, what's Zeolith? Uh, now Zeolith are, it's a natural mineral, they're crystals. Um, and what it's got is towards the back of the dishwasher, you, you probably can't see it, uh, there's a little container that does contain some of the zeolithium crystals. Um, it's nothing special, there's nothing you need to worry about as far as uh, sort of recharging them or refilling them up, anything like that. Uh, this dishwasher has a feature called Perfect Dry. And what it will do, part way through the wash, it will actually heat up the zeolithium crystals. And what it will do is at the end of the wash, it will actually use that residual heat to help use the, through the drying process. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to, to try and explain, um, but it's a really, really good feature. Um, and what it can do is can save up to 20% on the energy consumption for the wash. And at the front here, this is just where you pop the tablet or the gel pouch in. 
uh, and then to close it you just press that if you didn't need to open it beforehand just press the button there to open it but what it will do is it will actually come out during the the wash now in the top basket I know I didn't mention it a minute ago uh, but you've actually got this uh, the way it's designed I suppose first of all it's a handle that helps you open it but the main advantage is that during the wash what the tablet will do is it will actually drop into this little section here and the main advantage of having that design is that it's guaranteed that the tablet or the little gel pouch depending on which ones you use what it will do is it will actually dissolve properly uh, there's always been the classic case where it drops into say a cup uh, during the wash and then you get to the end of the wash and then you realize it's not dissolved properly so again that design is very very good so when it comes to turning the dishwasher on it is really easy it's a touch control and I must say this the the display on here and everything about it is fantastic uh, it's a really nice white LED display so it'll show you that for this particular program this is the the silence 50 that it will be around four hours don't be put off by that there are plenty of programs that are quicker than that if you are in a hurry uh, now first of all I just wanted to show you this because it's a feature that on its own almost sells the dishwasher uh, now it's not uh, unique to Bosch um, other brands do use it as well uh, but what it will do I suppose a, a classic thing people ask us with an integrated appliance so I suppose it's not just the dishwasher it could be uh, things like a washing machine as well but how long have you got left in the program and to be fair a lot of the time you don't really know um, other brands sometimes use a little dot on the floor and then the dot will disappear when the program is finished but it's not that intuitive as to how long you've got left in the program. And what you don't really want to do is to end up opening the dishwasher to see how long you've got left. So what Bosch have done is they've put a feature called Time Light on it. So you can see here that that program, for example, would take around four hours. If we were to shut the dishwasher and to start it, you'll notice at the bottom here that it's offering this information and it's saying that it's going to be four hours five minutes so a fantastic feature so what I'll do is I'll just give you a brief overview of some of the programs that this offers uh, first of all I'll, I'll work from left to right so you've got the Eco 50 program so as it shows here I, I really like the way that, that Bosch do this uh, it's very simple it's telling you what kind of program it is and also it shows you the temperature so there's no messing about uh, so first of all the Eco 50 degrees and as it says it will wash at 50 um, and that's really designed for I suppose uh, say longer washes uh, but it's really if you're not too much in a hurry but if everything isn't too dirty but as I mentioned earlier don't be put off by some of these long wash times uh, you have got an option over here called speed perfect and what it will do is it will reduce the time of the wash by up to two thirds so as you can see it's, re it's taking it from over three hours to just over an hour which is is really good um, this next one is, is a popular program, the Auto 45 to 65 degrees. Um, what this will do is this will actually pick the temperature for you. So once you've loaded everything, it will send a certain amount of water through. And depending on how dirty the water is, it the dishwasher itself will decide on the temperature between 45 and 65 degrees. Clearly, if you've, uh, say, pre-rinsed everything, um, if everything in there isn't too dirty then it will work towards the lower range it could be around 45 to 50 degrees but if everything in there is quite dirty if you've just done a Sunday roast and if you put it on that program then it will select it towards the uh, higher end of the temperature you have still got the option to use the speed perfect uh, but because of the nature of the program then it will only reduce it by a little bit uh, the next program on here is the intensive uh, that's really designed for the, the very high temperatures uh, so if you have done a Sunday roast I do mention that because we like a roast dinners at home uh, then the 70 degrees is a great option uh, the next one the Express 60 I suppose this is really a, a quicker program so if you are in a hurry then that will wash at 60 degrees or again if you're in a hurry then that will wash at the lower 45 degrees uh, and again, pretty quick programs. There's only a 15 minute wash. Uh, the glass 40 degrees. I suppose this is really if you, uh, if you do want to wash at the lower temperatures, uh, it's probably not a, a normal everyday wash, but if you have got some 
nice glasses that you want to look after then that kind of program is is very good the silence 50 degrees uh, this is really designed to operate at a lower decibel rating uh, with this model it, it only operates at 44 decibels uh, so the noise level if you're comparing it to other models then 44 decibels is actually really quiet anyway uh, but what this does is this is ideal if you wanted to use the time delay facility which you have got just over here uh, you just press the plus and minus depending on uh, when you wanted the program to start so if you use thing like economy 7 uh, where you get cheap electricity during the night or if you just wanted it to come on um, during the night for example some people just want to wash everything overnight so the first thing in the morning it's all done and dusted then that silence 50 degree program is a great one to use and I suppose what they've done is it is it is a long program uh, at four hours but to be fair whether it's two hours or whether it's four hours doesn't really make a difference if it's coming on during the middle of the night uh, the favorite I suppose what this does, this gives you an option to set a favourite program. So it's a work away to the right hand side. Uh, the next option is something called Remote Start. And what this will do, uh, this is partnered with the, the option called Home Connect. Uh, Home Connect is a, is a great feature, uh, which I'd normally recommend if you have got this kind of product. Um, and the idea is that you download the Home Connect app on your smartphone or your tablet. Uh, and what you can do is you can actually uh, monitor how the dishwasher is doing uh, so it will give you uh, different feedback as to things like the performance of the wash uh, and also if it if there's any diagnostic issues then it does have the ability to uh, actually almost log into the dishwasher to see what the fault is so these kind of things are, are around or some of them are coming with the home connect app uh, you've also got something called remote start uh, and that's what's just mentioned and what you can do is you can actually start the dishwasher uh, from your mobile phone or tablet uh, for some people that's quite a useful feature um, I suppose for, for others you're thinking well I'm here I'm just going to start it now but uh, the remote start it's on it anyway uh, extra dry that's a, th this is a really good option if you wash a lot of plastic items uh, things like the kids cups or plates then uh, that what I suppose what you can find is you can find that the uh, sometimes they don't get that dry uh, for some reason the, the water doesn't tend to run off as well as our glass or ceramics uh, so if you select if you do wash a lot of plastics then I'd normally recommend selecting the extra dry option with the intensive zone uh, when you select that as you can see it, it just adds around 10 11 minutes on there uh, but that's ideally for the lower basket uh, so if you've got things like heavily soiled plates or dishes then what it will do is it just really enhances the the wash but again that's only in the the lower basket and then the final program is called machine care uh, now with this this is really designed uh, to be used just on its own so I suppose the best way of describing it is if you don't put anything in there don't put any plates or cups or anything in there I know it's tempting to because you're thinking well I want to uh, try and get the benefit of using the water and the electricity uh, but really what this is designed to do is to keep the machine clean um, it is recommended I'd normally say probably once a month uh, to to uh, have this option running uh, and I suppose at home we, we tend to use something like this but we tend to do it overnight because uh, we have got economy 7 where we've got the cheap electricity so we might as well put this kind of program on uh, it's something that manufacturers will recommend uh, there are specific uh, detergents that you can get or dishwasher care products that Bosch will call it but what I do normally say is trying to run these kind of programs from day one uh, there's nothing worse than leaving it a year or a couple of years because what you'll find is that by then the machine has started to get dirty uh, so if you can run it so almost do it after the first month of ownership and just make a note just to do it uh, then what you should find is that the performance will stay the same so it will be a very good performance and also it can look after the machine as well talking about looking after the dishwasher uh, what i'd recommend is have a look out for any promotional warranties that bosch are offering with the dishwasher at this time of recording then it does actually come with a five-year warranty which is parts and labor 
I'm not saying it will be on all the time, uh, so as I say, just have a look out for any promotional warranties. Something else to mention, when it comes to the installation, I know I've not showed you around the back of the dishwasher, which I do normally quite like to do in some of my videos, uh, but this one has already been installed in here. Uh, but you have got something called Aquastop, and that's basically something that's connected onto the cold water feed. And what it would do is if you do get a leak at some point within the machine or out the back, then it will actually give you a notification on the display that there is a problem. I'll just show you the energy label on the dishwasher. As you can see here, it is a C energy rating. Uh, to be fair, nowadays that is actually very, very good. Uh, I know some people are looking at it going, well, my old dishwasher that I bought, say, four or five years ago, that was an A rating. Uh, all of the energy ratings have changed. So since March 2021, the whole system has changed. Uh, so everything, in theory, has looks like it's been downgraded, uh, but it's not. So it, you've got 74 kilowatt hours uh, per 100 uses. Uh, also at the bottom it's just showing you that it's a 13 place setting and 7.7 .7 litres of water. Uh, again, if you're comparing that to other dishwashers, then seven, about 7.5 seven litres is actually really, really low. Uh, especially if you're on a water meter, which a lot of people are now. Uh, some people think, well, I'm not on a water meter. Uh, but the main thing to think about is that uh, only using around 7.5 to 8 litres of water for certain programmes then what it would do is actually saves on the electricity because with less water, you're not having to heat the water up as well. If you are thinking of buying one of these dishwashers, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch SMD 6CZX 60G integrated dishwasher. You wouldn't believe the number of takes it's taken me to get that model number correct. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video on the dishwasher that I've just talked about. Uh, if you have got any feedback on the video, whether it's good or bad, then let me know. If I have missed something, so if you've got any questions on the dishwasher, then I've got one here on display. And if you've got any questions, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. But just before I finish, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then just click the thumbs up. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.